what's up guys big joe here and today i'm doing an updated version of how to get siri to work on your mac os now if you've watched my first video and that didn't help you probably this would all you have to do is follow my simple steps and we'll be good to go let's get started the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to your system preferences once in system preferences you go to network and once we in network we go to advanced and over here we see all the networks that have connected to your mac os device at some point what i need you to do is i need you to go and select all of them and delete them once you've deleted all of them i need you to click on ok i need you to close network preferences and now the following steps has got nothing to do with your uh, mac os device it's actually got to do with your hardware that you use to connect to the internet so listen carefully to the instance that is applicable to you the first instance I'm going to put out there is if you're using an ADSL uh, router if you're using an ADSL router to connect to the internet I need you after you've deleted all the uh, known networks to find a pin and locate the reset button found at the back of your ADSL router I need you to push it in with a pin and hold it there for at least 20 seconds you should see all the lights on the router blink followed by all of them going off from there you need to release the pin and your router would reset uh, and restart I do have to point out that you will have to reconnect all your devices connected to your router again um, but let's suppose for example you're not using an ADSL uh, method to connect to the internet uh, the second instance would be if you're using LTE now if you're using an LTE product to connect to the internet then what we need you to do is you're going to um, delete all the known networks once you've done that I need you to uh, switch off uh, the router and unplug it from the wall socket and leave it off for about five minutes um, and also what you want to do before you disconnect the plug uh, you want to remove the LTE SIM card then you want to do an inspection on the LTE SIM card uh, and probably just uh, wipe it if there is any dust or dirt or anything of that nature if there isn't anything then uh, just put the SIM card back in uh, after the five minute period has passed you then um, connect the power supply and power up the router and again you will have to reconnect all your Wi-Fi enabled devices to the router again and the third option or the third instance rather that you may be facing uh, is that you're using fiber to connect to the internet uh, the steps with the fiber router is exactly the same as if with the LTE router now I just wanna I need to point out as a security uh, you know measure and I need to make you guys aware of this uh, it is very important that we know what type of connection you are using to use to connect to the internet for example if you're using your mobile phone as a 
hotspot uh, you're probably going to have this problem because with the network settings with regards to the DNS and proxy and um, IP config settings which is uh, quite advanced for uh, some people so what I'm saying in summary is that using your phone as a mobile hotspot or tethering Wi-Fi from a mobile device will not work in terms of getting your Siri to work on the Mac OS. It has to be via a constant connection uh, and mobile tethering or data sharing or any sort of mobile connectivity will not work and trust me I know what I'm talking about this is because the DNS and proxy settings have been adapted to minimize data usage as opposed to uh, uncapped package or uh, a fixed line package because we all know no matter where you are in the world the cost of data is expensive so you don't want your Mac OS device uh, doing your updates from the App Store on all your apps using your mobile data plan so this is why mobile tethering or mobile hotspots will only work for certain things such as YouTube emails browsing but it will not work for the Siri connected services as well as the smart home devices or the smart home apps uh, such as the Philips U or Apple's home connect kit it will not work um, so I hope this video helped you out if it did remember to smack that like button comment down below but for now it's big joe signing out Peace.